We just figured out how to get the Buried Bloodlines Catalyst from the Warlords Ruin dungeon that just came out today. If you guys are interested in what it does, whenever you have Devour and you shoot enemies with this gun, it weakens them, so it's pretty strong. In order to do this, you actually have to solve three mini puzzles throughout the dungeon. However, first, you must have gotten the Buried Bloodlines Exotic, and you must have completed the In the Shadow of the Mountain quest or at least we think so. This requires you to go to a special area that only exists if you have completed that quest. So as far as we are aware, you have to have completed it. We're also on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So if you guys appreciate these sorts of guides, please consider subscribing. So now once you have that quest completed and you have yourself the exotic, hop back into the Warlord's Ruined Dungeon and complete the first encounter. When you're at the prison encounter and actually you've completed that, now you are ready to do the first of three puzzles. In the corner of the room, you're gonna see a blight hidden behind a grate. And when you shoot that blight with the buried bloodlines, it will disappear. You will get the imminent wish buff and the torches in front of the blight will light up in a specific pattern. Now, which torches light up correspond to which darkness totems around the room you will need to stand on and activate in order to solve this puzzle. So if a torch is on fire, you will need to find the corresponding darkness totem, stand next to it with the imminent wish buff, and turn it blue. Sort of like you do throughout the rest of the dungeon. So the way this works, it's actually the torches represent the totems oriented and kind of angled 90 degrees to the right. So here's a schematic. You can see the torches go one, two, three on the left side and four on the right. Those will just correspond to the totems that I've depicted on the diagram. And you'll just have to walk up to the ones that correspond to your torches that are on fire and stand there until they activate. Then if you have done it correctly, when the buff timer runs out, the chat will say an unspoken wish is silenced. Buried bloodline clicks audibly. If you did it incorrectly, it will say an unspoken wish persists. And it looks like you can just go back up and shoot the blight as many times as you want to get as many attempts. I hope I explained this first puzzle all right. It's what I consider to be the most difficult. The diagram's always there. And if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Then you're going to continue on through the dungeon. The second puzzle is actually on the gigantic bridge right before the ogre second boss. Go ahead, clear all the ads from the bridge, get them out of there. Then you're going to turn around and look up the kind of big castle structure where you just came from and you'll see the second blight off to the left. This will activate a series of torches and darkness totems down the path that you just came from. And this one's way simpler. The torches just run left to right. They correspond to the darkness totems left to right. So this top one's on fire. You can see I shoot the top one for my friend Kimo to stand there. And then it's the last two on the very kind of right of the path as I'm looking at the wall. And that corresponds to the first and second darkness totem as well. So really just a one-to-one. -one. The one I'm standing on is that rightmost torch. And as you go up the path from there, it corresponds to the next torch left and the next torch left and so on and so forth. No weird orientations or anything for this one. Once again, when you get it correct, it'll say that the gun clicks audibly. Then you'll continue through the dungeon all the way past the gigantic Taken room and into the final big jump puzzle. When you arrive at this giant area where there's a lot of different floating rock platforms and different ways you can go through different doors and stuff, if you look down to your left, you will see the third and final blight for this puzzle. When you shoot that, the torches on the doorway directly in front of you will light up. And for this one, there's only four. And once again, they correspond left to right to the darkness totems left to right. The most left one is kind of up and tucked away. You can see my friend Hoon standing on it. Then the second to the left is uh, one you can see in the footage. Uh, I end up going to the first one on the right or the innermost right one. Uh, that's kind of floating there. And Kimo ends up going to the most rightmost one. Once again, no weird orientation changes for this one. You just read the left to right and you go to the darkness totems left to right. If you have any questions, ask down below once again. Once you have all of this, you'll continue on through the end of the jump puzzle. You'll kill all the taken enemies and you will see the little Tolan ball. Now, if you have completed the In the Shadow of the Mountain quest, you should be able to go into this Tolan ball into a secret secret area of the dungeon. And when you do that this time, there will be a boss fight. A wizard will spawn and the same mechanic applies to break her shield. There will be six torches, three on the left, 
three on the right, and they will correspond to three darkness totems on each side of the room. The ones that are furthest to the left and right are the ones that are close left and right in the room, like in the corners, closest to where you enter. And then it just is pretty common sense from there. So uh, three of the torches will be lit up. You just have to use your buff, stand on the corresponding darkness totems. When you activate them and the buff runs out, the boss's shield will go down and you will be able to kill her. When you finally take her out, you will be granted the catalyst. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Once again, please consider subscribing, help us on the road to 100,000 subscribers, and most importantly, have a fantastic day.